social media tools. Which ones should you use for content creation, content research, hashtags, or even copywriting? Today, I'm gonna to share with you three tools that I bet you haven't heard of, and I'm honestly sure they're going to change your life. So let's dive in with tool number one that will help you with content research. Now this tool I've already talked about in one of my TikToks and it went completely viral. So I thought I share with you way more details on how you can use it. So the biggest mistake that most people make when it comes to content creation is that they think of what could I post today? What could be interesting? Or what do I think maybe my target audience could be interested in? when in actuality, you need to only think what your clients or your customers are looking for. What kind of questions do they have? And then you're going to provide the answers with your content, whether that's a service or a product. Now, this tool helps you do it. It's way easier if you jump right in and I explain it to you inside the tool. Okay, as you can see, this tool is called Topic Mojo. Now they have a free version where you can use some features. And if you just want to start looking around, whether it might be helpful for you or not, you can sign up for the free version. But if you are serious about content creation and if you are really looking for ideas and already looking for content that might have gone viral, this is the tool for you. You would totally want to invest in that. So I'm going to type in social media manager because that's essentially what I am looking for, right? I am looking for topics around social media managers because that's what I teach. What are you guys looking for when you are looking for content around social media manager or what is holding you back from becoming a social media manager? So you want to do the same thing. If you're a business coach, you want to do the same thing. If you sell a product, you want to do the same thing. So then we get this query here. So I'm going to uh, click on it. And now we are getting a list of questions that people are looking for. Now, again, if you have the free version, you can do it. You can do all of this. And then you're going to click on view all here under the Google tab and you get all these questions that people are asking. So what is a social media manager doing? How much money is a social media manager make? If you scroll back into my older YouTube videos, you will see that most of these questions, I have created a video around it. Now the fun part is it's not just stopping around Google. You can do um, Reddit and you can also do Quora. So to get more insights, then you can actually click on it on the Quora question and then you can see what people are commenting. Maybe they have further questions. So this gives you two things. A, you will know exactly what your customer is looking for and B, if you have no idea what to post, you just go in here and you find all the questions. Now this is all great. And again, my video went viral just for showing this part, but wait until you see the next part. Now I'm going to click here on the model part and I already did a social media manager search so you guys don't have to wait. So I'm going to click on it and now you will see so much more. We still have the Google parts, but now look at down here. What else we've got? I can look what people are looking for on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. What are people typing in? What kind of questions are trending? What are my customers actually looking for? And now the best part, or my favorite part at least, is the TikTok part. I'm gonna now go on here and I see what comes up around Social Media Manager on TikTok and I have a direct link to that TikTok. So that means I could now create similar content like these TikToks, which will then help me answer the question of my clients, but already I know it has already once performed well. So chances that mine will perform well are pretty big, right? And like I said, you can do it for every single platform. So go on here, look at what's 
um, trending and then you can export it or you can just simply put it in your own Notion or spreadsheet, right? We have so many more options on here. So as you can see, we also have like a trend watcher, what is trending at the moment. So if you are looking for trends, you go in here and we have a listener. So a social media list listener, which you can use on here as well. Now the next one is for everyone who is looking to write a blog post, but you can also use it for social media content creation. So you're going to go on outline and now I already typed in social media manager and now I'm seeing the most popular blog post with a direct link to it and it shows me a breakdown of that blog post. So um, H2 would be headline 2, etc. Um, so I'll see what kind of headlines they've used and then what kind of breakdown they have in that blog post, which could help me create my own blog post. But also I'm honestly just using it for the headlines going in and see what else could I use to create TikToks or to create carousel posts. So for example, all of these things could be a great TikTok, right? So use these tools first. Use the questions if you're brand new to the tool. Use the model if you have the paid version because it's going to change your life. And also use the outline. Then once you're a bit more familiar, you can dive in with the other tools. So give it a try and let me know below this video if you found this helpful. Now that you know what to post, you want to create your content, you want to write your copy, you want to create the graphics, you want to look for hashtags, and then you want to schedule everything. Usually I use a different tool for all these different steps, but there's a new tool on the market and it's going to blow your mind. Now maybe you feel like I still need help with coming up with content ideas because I also want to compare it to my competitor and see if they are doing similar things that and how is it performing. Now this tool is also helping you with competitor research. It is literally an all-in-one tool and I'm so excited that it's finally out. But before we dive in with the next tool I would love for you if you haven't yet subscribe to my channel and give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed my content so again let me just take you inside the tool we're here on the dashboard first thing first we're gonna go on competitor analysis now this is the paid version so the competitor analysis is most like is only on the paid version if you want to play around with it, you can do the free version. I'm going to put the link below this video. I added Rachel Peterson because she's the queen of social media. So I'll just add in her account. You can add several competitors up here. So what you're essentially seeing is, see now is a breakdown of all of her content. You'll see an overview on how many posts she did, how the engagement was, and what kind of content she posted. Now, this is just the overview. You can also um, do by different dates, like if I wanted just to see the last months or so. But what I really love is the content themes. Now, I'm gonna go on here and I have a breakdown of all of her content. And you can see that majority of them were in a social media and marketing space, but she also was talking about books and about health. So this gives me an idea of just what kind of content she is posting about. And now I want to see, well, how has it performed? So I'm going to go on post performance. Now on here, I see how much is video, how many carousel, how many single posts, etc. And then down here, as you can see, you have way more details. I don't want to go into every single details. I want to bring your attention to this part here best performing posts so now i can see what kind of content has performed best for her right so let's go back to the first tool when i shared with you coming up with content ideas let's say you have now your list with content ideas that you know that your clients are looking for now you can look at your competitors posts the best performing and you're gonna see what kind of hooks have they used? What was the first sentence they used in their reels? 
what was the first caption they used, the first sentence on their caption, and now combine that with your content ideas so that you have the perfect viral formula because you already know it's performed really well for your competitor and you know your specific audience is looking for it. Now, it doesn't end here. We have more things to look for. We can go on hashtag analysis and now I can see what kind of hashtag she's been using and what were her five top hashtags, her top five hashtags, and in what kind of videos or what kind of posts she's been using those hashtags and how the engagement rate was. I mean, seriously, that is game changing and really, really helpful. But that's just one part of the tool. I promised you content creation and that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm now going into the content library part and it will ask me, what kind of content do you want to create? So for now, I'm gonna say business post, but you have all these other options, right? I'm gonna click next. So now I can either fill in my business details or I can click this slider here, create from idea, which is what I'm wanting to do. And then I'm just gonna enter a sentence. So let me quickly do that. All right, it's gonna click next. And now it asks me what kind of style of content I want. So I can choose from these different styles. I'm gonna do tone of voice casual, and I can either enter my own brand palette or I can use a suggested one. Now, obviously, if I post on my own socials, I want my own brand palette, so I've already added that. I'm gonna click generate. And now, voila, we have all of these content ideas and the content is already written and designed by the tool. Now, by no means would I ever suggest to just copy paste all of that content because I do believe as good as AI is, we still need some changes to design by us or some changes even in the copy. But the time you are saving with all of this, because it will also give you hashtags, so stay tuned, we're gonna pick one. So what you see here is, it gives me ideas for different um, ways to promote my content. So um, educational, promotional. So basically you have a mix of content because you don't only want to educate, you also want to promote, but you also don't want to just promote, you want to educate as well, right? So let me just choose this one here, for example. I can then see that it has also written the copy for me and it has created this design. Then I can click on it and now I can edit the creative. So basically it's now giving me a Canva version. I can add images, I can change the text. I would probably also change this here to like a different color. Maybe I would move that one here a little bit. Um, so literally you can just change it the way you want. It's like Canva. I don't want any of this in there. So you just move it around until you are happy with it. I'm not gonna do it now. Um, save and close, but you can see the interface is similar to Canva. And then I can do the same thing with the text. So then I'm gonna go on captions. And now I can change the captions the way I want it, or I can say, hey, can you generate me more captions? So now I have more captions. And now we're gonna go on the hashtag tab and we can see what kind of hashtag the tool suggests for my content. So we're gonna add some different hashtags here. I'm not gonna check, I'm just gonna add. And now I'm gonna click review and schedule. You can say, yep, I'm happy with that. Click schedule and that's it. Then I go over here to my content calendar and you'll see it is scheduled today for 10.45. I can just move it around if I don't want it at that time. And that's it. If you work with product-based businesses, you can also go on the e-commerce tab and you can link your products directly in here and have the assets. So then it creates a post using your clients or your own product. So essentially, it can write your captions, create your designs, 
find your hashtag and schedule everything for you. So you definitely want to try this tool and like I said, you want to combine it with the first one because you can do the competitor analysis and you can combine it with the topic ideas that you had from before. Remember when I showed you create post and then I showed you that you can choose the idea here. So you're going to enter now the idea that you have found on Topic Mojo and then you're going to let the tool write the caption for you. Your life as a social media manager has just become very, very easy. However, there's still one thing left and we all know what that is short form videos. So let me show you my favorite tool to edit short form videos on the desk on desktop. This is also an app. So if you prefer to do it on your phone, you can do it. But so many people have messaged me saying, I wish I had a really good desktop version. And I've already shared in one of my other videos about Clipchamp, but this time I'm sharing with you CapCut. So you're just going to go to capcut.com. You don't need to have a sign in. You can just get started for free. You also don't have to pay. And all I did so far is enter a random, I just clicked upload and entered a random video of mine. Now I'm going to drag it down here and I can now play around with the video. So on here, you can just see, you can play the video. So now here where I stopped, I would like to split the clip. So I'm going to click split here. And then I say, well, this part here, I actually want to make it faster so I can make the speed faster. I can then also say on this part here, I would like no audio, for example, I want the audio to fade in. Then I can click on the second part and I can do all these different things. I can say, okay, can fade in. So this is the transactions we're talking about, transitions we're talking about. So now within a few clicks, I make this clip faster and I just changed the way how this video clip comes in. So again, within a few clicks, it lets me do all these different um, transitions. It let me split the video. I can play around with the audio. Obviously, as you can see here, I can also add text. So I can do different texts and then here with the audio, you could technically find already the audio from TikTok. So if I want to add that, I can enter that audio so I can edit it. So it matches the audio. And then we also have stock videos on here. If you need something, you can just look for the stock video here. We have the different stickers, which is sometimes helpful um, if you need to blur something out. And we have different filters. So literally everything that you have on the phone, but just super good for if you wanna play around with it on desktop. So let me know how do you feel about using those tools and if they make a change in your social media workflow. If you don't have a social media workflow, watch my video. I'm going to link it now here about social media workflows and let me know in the comments how you liked this video.